It is a play written about smashing the patriarchy. <laughs> Top Girls is about a working class family where one sister stayed home, took care of her child, and the other sister left and made a name for herself out in the world as a career woman. She's just been given this huge promotion. To celebrate, she has this fantasy dinner party with five incredible women from history. And then in real life, she goes home to visit her sister in the very poor working class neighborhood that they grew up in. So Marlene works in an employment agency, so the second act takes place there and we meet all of the women who either work at the employment agency or coming in for interviews. Essentially showing the oppression that women live under throughout the ages, like in the first act, and then we get to see the oppression in act two and how it unfolds in act three in a family dynamic. And it sort of examines what capitalism means for women and the price that women pay to succeed in what is a male-dominated and male-favored culture. Because of the Me Too movement, because the backlash has already started against the Me Too movement, people need to see this story. I thought about a lot of people that I think this play is gonna affect. They're not all women at all. People who have not been seen. People who have these like epic stories that they want to tell and if only they could have this dinner party. I also love seeing women of color do this because why not? They're badasses and it's, it, it, it also does add something very specific and wonderful. So I'm really, really glad that that's happening. I feel like in the 21st century, this play is about all of us. It's not a play just about white women, it's a play about women. We're all human together. Step into this story with us.